Another step closer to landing on Mars, the Axiom Space X2 mission took off from the Kennedy Space Center yesterday to dock with the International Space Station. And now it is a race to land the first humans on Mars. Tom Costello shares how NASA is using nuclear rocket engines to get its astronauts to the Red Planet. Yeah, good day. A spectacular liftoff here yesterday at the Kennedy Space Center with the Axiom private astronaut crew headed for the International Space Station and the commander, Peggy Whitson, who is a NASA veteran, more cumulative time in space than any other American. Meanwhile, NASA is focused on going to the moon and then to Mars. And to get to Mars, we learned that NASA is planning to go nuclear using a nuclear powered rocket with a, a reactor inside that rocket. We got exclusive behind the scenes access and a look at it at the Huntsville Space Center, the Marshall Space Center in Huntsville. This is important because they need to cut the travel time to Mars. Right now it's two to three years round trip. Think about just stocking enough food for that and then trying to limit your exposure to potential lethal amounts of space radiation. So they're now going to test fire a nuclear powered reactor, a rocket engine in space within two to three years. We have a great documentary uh, going behind the scenes with NASA, Race to Mars. It is on Meet the Press reports on News Now and also on YouTube. Back to you. A lot of exciting developments that ahead. That is for kind NASA. of amazing, yeah. right? Space explora exploration, deep space exploration. So first we get back to the moon. Then we go to Mars. Then we go to Mars. And, and beyond. And, and now we're going to do it with nuclear-powered rockets. Yeah. If it, if it works, they're still working on that.